Hello everyone, welcome to the 17th video of Python tutorial series. In this section, we will explore few more methods we can use with arrays in Python. We have already seen adding and removing elements so far. Now let's try a copy method. This method creates a copy of an array. Let's take an array of fruits again. I will say fruits is equal to apple, banana and orange. Now I will write an ARR that is a new array is equal to fruits dot copy. Let's try to display both fruits and new array. So a copy of an array is created. There is also one more important method called count. The syntax for the count method is like this. Array name dot count. We have to pass one argument here. This parameter is a value. So it returns how many times this value appears in an array. For example, we take an array called vehicles. I will say vehicles is equal to car, jeep, SUV and car again. Let's take a variable called counter. So I will say CNT is equal to vehicles dot count. Now here I'm going to pass the value. Let's say I want to count how many times car appears in this array. So I will say car. Let's try to print the value of counter. So you can see that it says two times the value car is existing in the array called vehicles. Remember count returns count of value present in an array and value is a mandatory parameter. If you want to count total number of elements then we have already seen that we can use the LEN method that is the length of array. We have seen adding an element to an array using append method. Python also gives a method called extend, which allows to add one entire array to another array. In fact, not only array, any iterable object can be joined. When I say iterable, it means it can be a list, it can be a set, it can be a tuple. But at the moment, we are going to add only one array to another. For that, let's take ARR1 is equal to 1, 2 and 3. Let's take one more array called ARR2. So here I'm going to say 4, 5 and 6. Now I will write ARR1.extend as a parameter I'm passing ARR2. Here we can pass any iterable object. Now let's display ARR1. So as you can see that ARR2 is added to ARR1. So this is how we add an iterable object to another. 